everyone welcome back to Imcutech CAD tutorial today we'll be designing this simple 2d diagram here so let's get to business as soon as possible first off we'll be drawing the baseline here which is 50 millimeters and here is also 50 millimeters but the total length for this base is 50 plus 150 and then we'll cut out or cut off the line that will join from here to here so first off we we'll start go to our drawing toolbox tap on line and let's start from say 100 comma 100 away from the origin you can see then i want to draw a line of 200 comma zero done so just double click on your scroll bar on your mouse to bring the drawing you know up to scale look at that now we're here so we have a line of 200 millimeters right here and there is an upward movement here of 50 and also an upward movement here of 50 and another line of 200 millimeters here yes we're going to cut this place out so first and foremost let's draw this line and offset it by 50 to the right as simple as that line start up um, 0 comma 50 and there you go so we will offset offset by 50 millimeters I want to offset this to this side and um, I will also like to mirror this to the other side you can do that by tapping on mirror go to your modify pane here and um, mirror can you see that mirror through the center and press enter the same thing we can mirror this away to this place the same place go to modify to select mirror select objects that you want to mirror right click on your mouse and select this center meaning you want to mirror about the center and make sure it doesn't turn if not you see it the object turning around make sure it's straight up vertical and enter now we have this i'll simply mirror this up as well so let's go back here mirror this object right click on your mouse look for the center here and enter now i can easily trim this away you can see the diagram right so now i have this correctly in position i have this base and this base but i don't have this yet therefore offset this line by 30 mm to this place select offset 30 yes and up there and up here and here and there so next select your line tool and join that again line tool join that now we're going to trim the unnecessary lines that I, you can see this is unnecessary select trim right click delete and delete delete this one will have to erase ourselves so delete delete okay now we we'll select this line this line this line and erase them I think um, we have to trim this part here this should be trimmed right click and trim okay and then we'll erase this so look at the diagram 
it's becoming perfect right but the only thing that is left is a long line joining these two places so i don't have to stress myself too much i can simply delete this since i get what i want over there and then select a line tool and join this and there you go next the next thing to do now is to locate the center of the circle you can see that there is an offset of 70 millimeter of this you know a distance of 70 millimeter from this line to this position also the circle the center of the circle will be right at the center of this line do you see that so i'm going to offset this by 70 millimeters they will offset a line or will locate 100 millimeters on this position or the center of that line the center of this line this particular line here will be the center of the circle so offset by 70 millimeters from here to that place then start with your circle no stress look at the center that is the midpoint of this line from this place to this place is 100 millimeter that is the midpoint i've told you if you want to you if, if in case this midpoint is not showing on your drawing move to this position look at this select this and make sure this is marked this midpoint if it is marked you definitely see it make sure anything you need is marked here so the end point is marked midpoint is marked centers are marked therefore it will be easy for the snap tool to work along with your drawing now select circle come to this place but first the radius of the first circle is 30 the radius of the second circle is 60 so you simply draw radius 30 millimeters again enter the same position draw radius and um, 60 right 60 millimeters and we can delete this line it's not necessary you see that now there is the final step is the two tangent lines showing here we can just draw one mirror the, and we can mirror it to the other side through the center now this line have been made tangent to this circle look at how you can do that select your line tool tap on this as you can see if you want to join this it will definitely not be okay it may even snap to the center of the circle so for it not to snap hold shift button then right click you get that and select tangent look for it look at it here tangent and you can see the line trying to snap in a tangential position to the circle you see that this is tangential position it can't be tangent like this not possible not possible except here enter and that's all now we can just select this line or you can repeat the tangent let's repeat right right and select your line to tap on this place you can see it will not work if you should drop it it will drop there or look at it again from this place you know look it will not make sense do you see that now select line tap on this hold your shift button on your keyboard and then right click on your mouse select tangent and drop it that's all so we're going to dimension the diagram now how go to annotate and um, I think we can select linear dimensions first. Do for this. So you can see it's barely visible. So we can do something about it. Go to this arrow, modify text. Let the text height be five millimeters. Choose ISO standard text color, maybe green or yellow. If that is yellow, then I choose green here, and this is okay. 
offset from origin by 2 millimeters. So, you see that? I think I should change this to green instead and this to yellow. Okay. Set current, close. You see that? Now, let's go back again. Linear it's from here to this place is 150 millimeters so linear from this place to this place is 50 millimeters linear from this place to this place is 70 millimeters they were obviously shown earlier come to this drop down select radius the radius of this circle is 30 millimeters while the radius of this big circle is 60 millimeters and we have another linear dimension the distance from this place to this place is 30 and this to this is 30 so from this place to this place is 30 millimeters and from this place to this place is also 30 millimeters I think that's okay right yeah that's all about this design as you can see it was quite simple to achieve it, was, it wasn't tough at all you can try it and let me know if you have any difficulty thank you so much for joining us today to watch this video now let's move on to the next drawing soon thank you for watching please like share and subscribe